Hello everyone, my name is Web Weaver, and welcome back to another episode of The Horror of World. Dun dun dun! Uh, you know, we may or may not have played this game before as a little treat. I don't know if it's been updated at all. You know, it's obviously been like one real world day, one 24 hour, well, 20 hour period of time since I last played. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking random character. I, I do not care who it is. Well, I actually do greatly care who it is. I'm just hoping that... I'm just hoping in the depths of my soul <laughs> that it is not uh, a certain couple of characters. But anyone else is completely fine and will be met with no complaints. I'm thinking Curious Birthmark because we haven't played that in like 18 million years. But I want more Katurufu experience, because he's new. He's new, it's new, an unknowable squid thing living at the bottom of the the freaking ocean under Atlantis, slumbering, doing a little dreaming, doing a little snooze. Uh, Joe Biden's sleeping.mp3. Uh, you know exactly what I'm talking about, unless you don't. The I, I can't even begin to mimic it, it's an inhuman sound. Of, uh, of taking a little snooze. Or I should say at least it's pretty high-pitched. Now, Moriko? Uh, didn't we just play Moriko, like, five seconds ago? I, didn't we just play Moriko, like, five seconds ago? I feel like we did. Was that four days ago? No way it was four days ago. Was it really four days ago? I think it was. He thinks it was four days ago. Dun dun dun. Okay, whatever. Uh, it's probably fine. I picked up a, uh, and yes, this is anecdote number one, uh, because it's very cute and it's very good. There's a free visual novel called, uh, I want to make sure I get this right, One Night Hot Springs. It's on Steam. It's not made for me. I have, I, I cannot relate to it in any way, shape, or form besides, like, you know, basic human empathy. Uh, but it's absolutely fantastic. It's incredibly well written. It's really good. It's very cute. The art style is adorable. And it only takes like 15 minutes to do a full playthrough. Uh, and it has like a good save load feature because it's like one of those VN Maker games. So you have like 80 million saves that you can abuse and use. But uh, absolutely fantastic game. Absolutely banger story. Very cute. Erica is best girl. We, we stand a queen. But, uh, anyways, what are we doing here? Uh, well, I, personally, I'm boiling alive because it's actually, like, there's no sources of cool air anymore. It's very hot outside. Uh, so closing the, the closet door for five milliseconds has resulted in, you know, like a 80 degree, 80 degree, maybe even going up to 85 degree environment. You know, you put a thermostat in here. The little red bit at the top, it just keeps going up and up and up, and then it's just like, it gets to the red, the 100, and then it like cracks and it explodes, and then it's an inferno. But, uh, yeah, anyways. It's look who it is. We got our seconds, we've got strength, we got light source, we got knowledge, maybe. But you know, I'm looking at this, you can do a pretty standard Moriko run here, feel pretty good about yourself. And I, I, I'm thinking that that's uh, exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to see how much of a wrench Katu Rufu throws into the, uh, into the idea of um, having an average run, having a little bit of an average Moriko run existence. Now, Moriko does not have fantastic, uh, whatchamacallit, you know, she doesn't have fantastic reason regeneration capabilities, uh, besides the fact that she mitigates so much damage just by killing things very quickly once she gets her, uh, once she gets rolling. Absolutely goaded, Doomer Moriko. I don't know what it is, but, like, the, the, I, I don't, I, I, listen, I got nothing on why Doomer Moriko is absolutely based. I still really like Morike and Warm Jacket. I think Warm Jacket is the most iconic, but uh, Doomer Moriko is really, uh, really a really good outfit. I, honestly, all of the new art assets of the game has gotten recently are absolutely phenomenal. 
Pants has indeed been cooking. Now, are we gonna see Moriko, who is not Doomer? <laughs> oh my god. We have, like, Moriko light theme, Moriko dark theme. Oh no, no, no. Doomer Moriko versus Bloomer Moriko. Oh, you absolutely, uh, love to see it. But, uh, anyways, what the hell are we doing? Abnormal arms. Which one is this? A little trident here? Violent Vigil. And then this one with like a little Loch Ness monster being spotted. That's found footage. Fair enough. You see, you got the newspaper article with the circle on it. Uh, morbid mermaids. Oh yeah, you've got like a little mermaid person there. That's pretty cool. And then your classmate, school scissors. That's pretty interesting. I actually like that a lot. Now we don't have painting. So we can't take any of this stuff for granted, like we can't take the light source for granted. And so what we're gonna do though, is we're... This is actually going to increase our doom. That increased our doom by two. That's kind of neat. But uh, we're gonna go here and we're gonna buy either a flashlight or a compass. The first thing that I see with my eyes. Didn't see anything there. Didn't I did see that there? I almost re I almost rerolled again, but I read like everything in the list. I actually you might think I started from top to bottom. I actually started from middle, jumped up to top, then jumped to the second one on the bottom, and then read backpack. And then I was about to reroll, and I'm like, I should probably glance at the last one, and it was flashlight. So that works out pretty well, actually. Can't complain about that. Can't complain about that. Now, if we get an early jar of uh, blood, perhaps then I would very much like to go get a compass because it would definitely be worth it uh, even though it's still like really early on into the game. Um, we had Vigil, I don't know, did we have Fear Festival? I kind of want to just park it on the forest, but for now, that just costs Doom to go there. I thought the the whole thing was, oh god, was it the school? It was the school, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought the whole thing was it was it would cost Doom to move it, but I guess it just cost Doom to go there now. I guess that makes sense. Um, I mean, yeah, that's a, I would absolutely love to take that uh, that trade. That's a very, very good trade. Now, dangerous, admittedly, is pretty bad, and you would like to mitigate that uh, if you can. The problem is just that, like, it doesn't really change anything for us at all. So, like, do I even want to, like, make the forest safe? Do I even want... I, I think I do still want to make the forest safe because it might uh, have some, like, really good effect where we, like, get a dice roll on a perception thing or something. I don't know, but... I think it'll probably be... I don't know if I want to go Katana. You know, it's weird. Like, I feel like the run is going to be... I Listen, I want to go for the knowledge. Broken Jaws, like, unless we get an actually good spell, it's completely, like, a non-factor. We never have to... I mean, we would have made that even with the, the low threat level, but... um, Yeah, no, I'm just thinking to myself, like... The katana is really good, but I feel like if you have a character who can set themselves up for, you know, I mean, you gotta do this, even though it will raise your doom, because the other option will raise your doom more, but, um, yeah, I just feel like you gotta, if your character is set up for success, don't, don't get crazy with it, you know, don't, don't get wacky, don't get wild with it, you know, you, you know exactly what you need to do and what you can do. You can just do it big. Abnormal arms, mermaids. So second mystery, I think we're gonna do vigil. I think we're gonna do vigil. Was the mansion, the mansion was safe, I'm pretty sure. Cause I remember, like yeah, I'm pretty sure the mansion was completely safe. So I'm not worried about that at all. I, I mean, I am worried about our sanity, don't get me wrong. Uh, you should always be worried about your character's sanity when you play uh, World of Horror. Hold on, I got a DM. Got a DM message. Josephine is playing Skyrim in the Lord of... 
in the year of our Lord 2023. That that just that I I don't even know how to I I don't even know how to respond to that. Like just huh? Just just Skyrim? Hold on, I gotta I gotta see this Skyrim. Is it? There's no way. There's no way. Sister is playing Skyrim? Live on stream? What the hell? That's like just that, that literally just throwing like a fucking grenade. Like literally just a grenade into my Discord DMs. Absolutely unreal. Uh, what are we doing here? Uh, no, get get me out, get me away. First enemy, by the way, absolutely great start. Um, is she is she in a VC call anywhere? Can I just like join and yell at her for playing Skyrim? <laughs> it better be modded. It it better be modded Skyrim. She's playing it on the computer. It better be modded Skyrim. There's no way. Also. I think she's playing default Skyrim too. There's no no shot. No way. Played the uh, regular Skyrim. Does she not even own? Hold on. Special edition. There's no the base game. I mean, no, she does own special edition. But which one is she streaming? Skyrim. No way. The, the 27 hours on Skyrim versus the 9 minutes on Special Edition. Absolutely unhinged. I, 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 I'm so, I, I, it... I, I, why did I look at, why did I look at Discord DMs while I was recording? I should not have done that. Why? I, I just, you know, I, I, I don't know why I, I looked at that. I, I don't know why. Skyrim in 2023? I mean, listen, I would be lying if I said I didn't have, like, some, re like, six months ago, I didn't have some weird, like, Todd Howard casting a mind control spell that I somehow managed to resist. I had this weird urge to, like, record three hours of Skyrim for no reason, and I, like, got a fucking nexus mods it was whenever i brought up nexus mods because i wanted to like grab all the fucking graphics mods and then do like a skyrim playthrough but listen that was just todd howard casting a fucking mind control spell that i managed to resist like huh i i mean who's laughing now Todd, Todd just wins. He he can't stop winning. Todd Howard, he just wins. I. Yeah, no, I should not have looked at. Uh, I I should not have looked at Discord. You know, I told my friend, oh yeah, no, I'll join VC in like thirty minutes, and it's been fifteen minutes later, and it's like I'm not even halfway done with this goddamn run yet. I got Todd Howard stunlocked. How could you do this to me, Josephine? What the fuck? Go outside and touch stone? I, I need to go outside and touch grass after this. Skyrim and the Lord of our... The, the year of our Lord, 20, 2023. Unfucking real. 
we're not gonna need this, so give me something I can throw at the, the next dickhead. Swear to god, we're gonna come into contact like pillar vampire or something, and then I, that's just when I load the shotgun. We're gonna get a bunch of EXP. Okay, second enemy, I'm pretty sure, is it's look who it is. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Hawado and Miyaku, remember that? Hopefully I don't have to Emmerdale for 80 years this time, so it all works out. Um, now, I'm actually gonna throw a broken bottle here, because I would very much like... Okay, so weapons just don't show up in the log anymore, because I was looking, and I was looking at how much damage I was dealing, and I saw minus three, and I started to panic, because I'm like, what the fuck? Do I have, like, some, like, torn muscle, debuff-looking ass that I have no idea about? We never have to go into the forest again. I don't remember if we had knowledge. I'll be real with you. I think it was, like, strength and maybe knowledge. I think I would rather just take... Like, if we're gonna get garbage as our level up, I think I would rather just take extra bullets in case we need them. Um, I mean, you gotta go with that. Like, you do? It's true. Okay, I'm also gonna throw the meat... Okay, I'm also going to just, like choose violence. I don't know why the the people at this uncle's funeral decided to let Moriko walk in with a shotgun. I I I honestly feel like when you're in a horror movie and you're you're in some remote location and someone who does not have any death flags walks in with a gun and is like, "Oh yeah, I'm a hunter. I I hunt stuff in the wild." And you're like, "Uh and then, you know, the situation goes to hell, and then people start turning into monsters, and then you turn the corner, it's like some fucking, uh, the Wii game on Dead Space, you were the monster the whole time. Spoiler alert! Um, and then the, the person just guns you down. It's like, uh, you could probably see that one coming from, like, 80 years away. Yeah, I made a, what was it, Dead Space Extraction reference? What about it? What is that game called? I remember that came out, and it was like... It was an on-rails shooter. On the Wii. Set in dead space. Unhinged. But, uh... Yeah, what, are, what the hell are we doing? You know, honestly, EA was was ahead of their time for like what they did with Dead Space. Cause they tried to, they franchised the shit out of everything they could. Dead Space got an anime, a, I'm pretty sure I'm, it was either a comic, yeah it was a comic, right? Dead Space got an anime, a comic, multiple spin-off games, a mobile game, and was like series, like it was serialized. So there was like one, two, and three. Um, EA was ahead of their time and they, they were too early. Because think about, like, what everything that comes out now has to be, like, this massive thing that goes on for, like, a decade. You know, you have to have, like, the... Like, like, people aren't happy with the Mario movie, not because it's, like, bad, it's actually quite nice, but because it's just the Mario movie. It's like it didn't... it didn't hype up... like, it did hype up, a spoiler alert. They did... Beast, get out of the... get out of here. You were sitting pleasantly for 15 minutes, and then you're like, this video's not over yet? Clicking off. <laughs> but, uh... It was like, um... You know, the Mario movie set up another Mario movie, if you can believe it. Uh, but they didn't set up, like, a Smash Bros. movie. They didn't set up, like, a... Like, a... Um... I don't know, what else would you do? If you wanted like a like a Nintendo Cinematic Universe, they did they didn't set up basically they set up another Mario movie, but they didn't set up any other like Nintendo Cinematic Universe thing. They didn't do like a like a Metroid movie setup or anything like that. People were pissed. People were like, oh, there's no like, uh, you know. I I saw some people complaining about that on Twitter, which admittedly it's Twitter, so you can't really take that for anything that it's worth. And people on there are completely unhinged. Um. If, especially, like, people on Twitter are just absolutely unhinged. God have mercy on their souls. But, um... Abnormal arms, mermaids, school scissors... Uh, honestly... 
will do a little school scissors. I was about to say, um, I, I'm not gonna finish that sentence, but basically I was gonna add a, uh, I, I, I was like, uh, I, I was gonna say, we're gonna do a little mer mermaidzing and then a little school scissor and yeah. And then I realized while I was thinking that sentence that is like not even correct out loud, I was like, oh, glad I didn't say that. Uh, we can just like, actually, I'm pretty sure we could just use this. Like, I'm pretty sure we could literally just use this and then have its beneficial effect whenever we want. But I mean, we'll just put it in the back pocket for now. Um, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Uh, you know, many people, many people are saying this. Now, this is a little bit, uh, a little bit risky. It's very risky. This is, uh, two gunshots. Uh, this is two shotgun shells worth of risk right here. Uh, hopefully we can get to the, the end of it. Honestly, I, with Innsmouth look now functioning as, like, an actual thing, I'm thinking about getting rid of it. Not even the friend wouldn't dare show up here. Not on a bad run where we don't even have good shit. Um, so I think what you're gonna do, what you're gonna do for me here, is you're gonna do it like this. Um, and, and then you're gonna cry? You're gonna throw the empty bottle as much as I hate it. You're gonna throw the empty bottle. We actually should be able to do this. We cannot do this. It's a 90% chance. If we missed, I would basically just cry because we invested so much on that. Um, nope, wrong triangle. The shape is important. You gotta be careful with those lines. You gotta be careful with those lines. They're wacky. The dark shower room on the floor. Oh, hey, look, it's another thing I would throw 80, 80 things at just to avoid. Honestly, I think we run. I'm going to be real with you. I think we run. We're, we're just going to run. Like, it... it I, I think we have the doom for it. We're going to need to just shoot the, the scissor woman with a couple of shotgun shells. We're basically just on copium until we can get deft handling. Like, that's... Li Okay, um, nice, funny moment, um, I don't know, just hit it big. Well, we don't have to use the other shotgun shell, so that's cool. Saved our friend, she, she, she will spend the remainder of her life, uh, asking strangers if they want to know how she got those scars. Honestly, I think we gotta heal, but also, fuck it, we ball. We will simply just win the game. If it were up to me, we would simply just win the video game. I threw the empty bottle, I can't use it anymore. Uh, mermaids and abnormal arms. We gotta go mermaids, and then we gotta take the burn. Unless, of course, we're on the timeline where we can just do it big, simply, and have our Innsmouth look come in clutch and be cool uh you gotta go to the police station you gotta get the school taken care of honestly i should have just left it on the school especially because we went to school scissors i i should have planned that out more properly uh more properly should have planned that out properly my uh my favorite bit is accidentally spelling something wrong and then correcting yourself, but the correction is also wrong. I think that's very funny. One more, nailed into the freaking bark. But yeah, no, I, I think that's one of my favorite bits. Oh no, my face, it's broken! Um... If we can set this up to where 90, 
Oh, hold on. Hold on. We're cooking? So this is 19. So if this is, uh, if that just doesn't whiff, it whiffed. Okay, can we block? And then... We can do a... We, we can block, do a 90%. I'm not happy with this. But it does mean that we can guarantee that she is done in the dust. Now, I'm not happy with spending a bullet there. I'm not happy with how this overall turned out. I think I value my stamina quite a lot. I'm going to rest again. As much as I hate to do it to you. And then, here's what we're going to do. It's two reasons. It's pretty bad, actually. It's pretty bad right off the bat two funds. Wow, the monument got worse in Harbinger of Doom. That's nuts. Um, if I want to rest again, I gotta do it here. I gotta do it here. Because what if we got fetid fumes? And also, we want to get tireless on our, uh, on our bonus mystery. I will do that just because you, you gotta... Um, also, this dog's a menace. She just wants the door to be open. And it's like the door can't be open right now. You gotta, you gotta pick. Listen, this is Fire Emblem Fates, okay? You have to pick if you're on the the side where the door, where you're on the outside of the door, or you have to pick whether you're inside of the door. Uh, unfortunately, you don't have the the DLC, so you can't pick the path where the door is like made out of fucking glass or something, or where you take the people on the outside of the door and on the inside of the closet. And you, you make them work together for a common good. You can't do that. This is not... I, I don't know why I brought out the invisible, the IF, but uh, it's look. And that's really all I have to say on the matter. I believe I've made myself clear. Uh, I finally finished season 20 of Hell's Kitchen, by the way. And uh, spoiler alert, I don't know how many people here actually care about season 20, the young guns of Hell's Kitchen. But... Uh, the person... Okay, so first of all, I need to clarify. When I say that I don't like somebody on, like, reality TV, what I mean is that they are, to me, like, kind of like the, the heel or, like, the villain or... Not even necessarily that, but just, like, the person that I'm not rooting for. That doesn't mean that I don't like them. And also, it means... It doesn't necessarily mean that I'm not rooting for them either. It's just in this specific case, I wasn't. Uh, just for, just to preface all reality TV discussion in the future. Uh, I like it when there is somebody on reality TV who is a dickhead. <laughs> I, listen, I do, okay? And I like it when they're a villain. I like it even more when there is a villain with a heart of gold, he's a scoundrel, but... Uh, for me personally, this was just someone that I, I wasn't too keen on, if that makes sense. Like, he just wasn't my favorite guy. He was probably, like, my least favorite guy. But, like, he was still a good competitor. And honestly, that's, like, the good shit about it, right? He's, he was one of the better competitors in the, in the show, for sure. Um, well, he was the best competitor because he won. <laughs> but you know what I mean, right? Like, he wasn't particularly entertaining... He was just kind of like a guy, and he got me at the end, though, but, uh, yeah, no, the person that I was rooting for, she got eliminated pretty early on in Black Jackets, and then after that, I was rooting for Bryn, I liked Bryn a lot, uh, she got eliminated, and then I was rooting for Kaya, and Kaya got eliminated, because I don't know, her fucking steak wasn't salty enough or some shit in the final challenge. Um, I'm not a food person, as you can probably tell. But uh, it was down to uh, Megan and Trent. And, or Trenton. And honestly, Trenton played a good game. He, he definitely deserved the win. And also what he did afterwards, after he won. King shit, obviously, but like... You know, I was rooting for Megan. I, 
I have no idea. Like, the, the people who follow Hell's Kitchen are fiends, right? So it's like, I have no idea if I'm about to say, like, Hell's Kitchen sacrilege and they're gonna be, like, tearing me to pieces. Like, the, uh... What are they called? I don't want to call them mongrels because, like... And out of context, out of nowhere, people are like, Web, what the fuck are you talking about? But in Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, there's, like, uh, the... The people who dwell in the caves beneath the city are like the are they the are they the neithers? What does Wendaug call them? Or Wendawog, sorry, Wendawog. What does she call them? And it's like uh people call them mongrels from the surface because, you know, it's a, a derogatory term, obviously. But uh, I don't remember what the correct term is. I think it was neithers. But I could be wrong. Uh, Wendawog is, I mean, listen, evidence about webs, blah, 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 blah. Wendawog is best girl. Absolutely. But, um, it's just like, there's that scene where the demon is like the, making the, the people tear into the uh, Azimar? Uh, Az Azimar's flesh? And they're just tearing them to pieces? And then you get to either go demon mode, demon angie mode, or angel badass mode, and you get to choose which one, and then you, like, blow up the demon. Um, anyways, uh, Wrath of the Righteous is unhinged, and I described, like, the first dungeon in the game, which is the tutorial. Um... I will say, by the way, I you can never escape Fort Joy, because... So I started playing the the tank build that I was talking about, and you needed to be lawful good to be paladin and uh, monk and all that. Well, pal a monk just has to be either neutral or lawful, but paladin has to be lawful good. Um, but so I started playing, and I got to like, I don't know, like three hours in or whatever, two hours in, and every single time there was like a lawful dialogue choice, I just was like, I would not react this way. I would not roleplay this way. I fucking hate this. I, I, it, but the, the problem is, like, I, I would definitely, and I know this is like, every, every DM hates him, but I would definitely be, like, a more chaotic character, for sure. Uh, because I, I like, I mean, the way the game describes it, right? Like, I'm more open to new ideas. And I'm not really gonna, you know, intrinsically, like, submit to authority or whatever. But it's so annoying, because there's this one part, spoiler alert, I have no idea, like, if it's a big spoiler or not, because I just started playing the game. But, uh, there's this one guy who's, like, he's just this dickhead, like, he's crazy. And, but he's, like, the guy who runs the city, essentially. Like, the queen appointed him there, he's the defender of the city, he's the guy. Uh, he, he is him. Uh, or at least bro thinks he's him. Uh, laughing, crying emoji. And so, obviously, in the first five seconds of the game, uh, demons completely destroy and overrun the city, and you see... I... <sighs> Listen, man, I wonder if there's a gif of Terendal... Is it not? Is it is Terendalev, right? Of Terendalev just getting her head fucking cut off and then yeeted across the town square. I have seen that scene probably, like, 12 times already. Like, it's burned into my brain. Like, just, like, her just head just getting yeeted. Um, spoiler alert for the first five seconds of Wrath of the Righteous. Uh, sorry about that. But, uh, you know, it, it's just, like, he's guarding, like, this dude, he's just guarding this fucking, like, hole in the ground that's just completely empty. And he's just, like, ranting and raving about how his knights have to protect this hole because demons might come out of it. And literally, like, five steps down the road, there's, like, a bunch of demons mauling some guy. Uh, it, the, the game really could not make it any clearer how much of a lunatic this guy is. And there's this, like, order of, uh, based, like, uh, priests who like the dreamer god who is just a radical idea for a deity by the way and they're they were trying to warn him and they're also like hey could you like take your soldiers and like help people the demons are out there and murdering it's like no what if the demons come out of the hole and kill people and it's like uh 
the the demons that are already up here massacring everybody what if they came out of the hole neat uh, but he basically demands that you go like you go like fucking kill this person uh because they're a heretic tm and they're just being like totally reasonable and they're like hey i don't care if you kill me but could like you save innocent people and it's just it's it's incredible like just the absolute gall of this man but it, it's lawful to follow him because he's the law tm and it's just like i find myself aligning with all of the fucking chaotic answers and uh you know i'm just thinking to myself like why did i do that why did i take the doom option not thinking as a katu rufu enjoyer i'm thinking as a uh as a regular gamer but uh oh absolutely hell yeah the stamina boss brother uh, we do, unless I'm just gonna, like, choose violence, we do actually need to get this taken care of. Which I actually feel like we can pretty reasonably get this taken care of now, because I almost clicked exit immediately upon grabbing the painkillers, because I have, like, a, I, I just, you know, I got a, a disease. Been playing this game way too long, but still having a good time. Also, you know, I get this question every once in a while. I haven't gotten it in a while, but after I said that, you know, you can probably imagine somebody's being like, hey, bro, you can take a break from the game if you want to. And it's like, yeah, no. <laughs> I, I know. I, I absolutely know that. I could take a break at any time. Aw, oh, shit. It's look who it is. So we just need to do... Uh, I mean, honestly, we could throw the... We, we could throw something at him if we really need to. And I mean, sure, I'll do just that. I don't know how... Can we throw the old coin? No. I mean, I'm, I'm not really expecting that to do... Oh, but uh, wait, do we have a light source check? I'm we did have a light source check. Um... But I also don't want to take 8 more billion damage. 60, 70, 80. And then we can do like a... Here's the thing. If we miss this, we die. So you, you can't negotiate with that. Um, th w Was there Takashi? If there was no Takashi, I should just throw the shotgun now. Um, But we'll go up to 4. Hold on. Maybe we can make this a 90. No, you, you cannot. It's the same price. Um, I mean, I guess you just gotta do it. Like, I, I guess you just gotta do it big. Because I don't want to lose the sanity. And we can't afford to lose the weapon if, um, you know. Yeah, 5-5 five, five is fine. That's cool. You, lo loving Tireless, by the way. Uh, so we're taking... Hawado and Miyako, a minus three. We're good. Vigil? Um, and then Takashi, final boss. Do we have Heart of Darkness? If we have Heart of Darkness, uh, you need to tell me now, because we'll fucking die. Uh, we do not have Heart of Darkness, so we're actually completely okay. Pretty, uh, pretty cool with that. Pretty chill with that. I'm like, what, eight? I'm eight minutes late talking to my friend. What the hell? I probably should not have started ranting about Terendalev getting fucking decapitated and her head thrown across the fucking town square. I've just... Hey, listen, I've seen that so many goddamn times. Alright, it's, it's lighthouse in time. I mean, you just do... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get rid of Innsmouth Curse first. Because we could actually just die. And so we might as well. Uh, I mean, more combat stats are always better when we're going to go into a fight. I think that's fine. Uh, Hawato and Miyako. And even if we, um... Well, Branded could turn the tides, obviously. But even if we failed... We should have still been fine, because we would have had uh, 
to mess around with. But we're good. We're we're fine. There's no way we can lose unless I horribly miscalculated, which could always be a, a problem. But uh, I think we're probably okay. I'm not even doing. I'm not even doing the math here, man. We already did the light source thing, right? Probably. But who cares? We can hold on to the flashlight. Listen, just because we have to return the gun uh, and we throw that doesn't mean that it's gone forever. Once Moriko has to, you know, inevitably leave the lighthouse because I don't know why she would stay up here. Uh, after you make sure that you've saved the world, you really don't have to be there any longer. You can just walk down the stairs and then pick the shotgun up, you know, something like that. Um, but anyways, stay safe out there. Have a good one. I will see you all in the next episode of World of Horror. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.